Hey everybody, I'm Jen Y. Kuger, Content Manager at OpenSource.com, and this is another edition of our Top 5 Articles of the Week video. We also have an article on the site where you can um, read everything that I'm going to say and get to um, a link to all the articles that I'm going to talk about. Um, so that brings me to another thing. I have a surprise for you guys next week, hopefully next week if it comes in the mail. Um, on time. So I'm really looking forward to that. You know, I'm, I'm constantly trying to improve the video and make it better for you guys. Um, I really like doing the video outside when I can because it adds a little bit of flavor and excitement. Um, hopefully, you know, um, a little bit more than being in an office, although I really like being in the office as well and shooting from um, Red Hat Tower in Raleigh um, because I have the whiteboard and it just, it looks really nice. So um, I like to change things up. It, you know, kind of brings a little bit of flavor into things. So surprise next week. Thank you for sticking with me through um, the changes and improvements with the video. And if you have any suggestions or ideas um, as, as I go along, please um, leave a note or comment um, on the video or the article. Um, and I appreciate your feedback. All right, so let's hop into the top five this week. At number five, get ready for Wagtail, the best Django CMS yet. Frank Wiles brings us an all-around look at the open source content management system, Wagtail. He talks about features, admin interface, images, pages, and customization. Frank is president and founder of Revolution Systems, an open source consultancy business. At number four, eight ways developers can be more like Willie Nelson. Ricky Inslee is the new content management manager for opensource.com and she delights readers with her interpretation of Willie Nelson's career for developers. She says, if you're not a rock star developer, good for you. Shoot for being average, or try to be more like Willie, who once said, I never gave up on country music because I knew that what I was doing was not all that bad. This article is chock full of learning lessons and great nuggets from the music career and life of Willie Nelson, as well as some great videos. At number three, Accessibility in Linux is good, but could be much better. Kendall Clark is an open source advocate and Fedora user who pins this article on the advantages a blind person has in using Linux distributions over proprietary ones. He speaks from experience and discusses areas in Linux that could also use some improvement for those with disabilities. At number two, the current state of Drupal security. DrupalCon 2015 is being held in Los Angeles this year from May 11th through the 15th, and OpenSource.com is running a series of interviews with some of the upcoming speakers at the event. This interview is with Greg Nadison, Director of Engineering at Card.com and a Drupal Association Advisory Board member, and Michael Hess, current Drupal Security Team, Le team Leader. Andrew Thornton is the interviewer. For this article, he is a senior software engineer at Red Hat and talks with these guys about managing security advisories from external libraries, plans for automated security updates, code reviews, what to expect in Drupal 8, and advice for new contributors to Drupal. Lots of good stuff. Finally, at number one this week, we have Getting Started with Minecraft Pi. This free Raspberry Pi version of Minecraft comes with a programmable interface that allows players to write code and manipulate the world around them. Very cool. It's based on Minecraft Pocket Edition for Android, has a Python API, and is bundled with Raspbian. Minecraft Pi can also be used to teach programming skills. The author is Ben Nuttall, the education developer advocate for the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Thanks everybody for joining me this week and I hope to see you again next time. You can get all the links to the articles that I talked about today in the notes below or on the article that is on the site every Friday. And check out the surprise that I have for you coming up soon. See ya.